If you run an online business and you run ads, you need to watch this video. Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Meyer, the Money Entrepreneur. Now in this video, like I said, if you're a bit online business owner, so if you sell any products online and you run ads to those products, heck, even if you don't run ads to those products, but you have those people's email addresses, this is going to be the video for you. So let me preface this video. I was working with a client. They do a couple million dollars in revenue every single year, and we were drilling down on their data. So it was, it was a really interesting experience because a lot of people, I think, don't really go down and drill down into the data. And this is something that I actually learned directly from a Facebook employee who was running ads. And they basically said the biggest companies do a lot more drilling down than they do focusing on the products that they sell, right? Because they already have a product that works, but they need to figure out how to get that product in front of more people. And I want to show you guys the exact process that we started using that has transformed businesses and something that I've started to do more and more in not only my business alone, but other clients of ours at my agency. And it has worked so incredibly well. This is some of the secrets that literally no marketers are talking about because this is what makes really good marketers really, really good and bad marketers really, really bad because they're not focusing on the data that at hand. Now, this is really only going to apply to businesses that have data. Now, don't worry. If you don't have data, you need to start thinking like this long before you start getting customers because when you have a an idea of this and you start to figure out and implement this for your business, this is when the magic is going to start happening. And when you can think about this as you're growing your business, you will be exponentially more successful. Now, if you already have a business that's thriving, trust me, I'm about to make you so much money. So without any further ado, let's jump into my computer. Now, I've broken out the handy dandy pen and and white paper here. And I actually want to share, I want to share with you guys the philosophy behind it. Cause I'm going to break this down in an Excel sheet for you guys. However, this is so critically important. And because this is going to be on Excel, it could really be applied to any program out there. It doesn't matter if it's MailChimp, Constant Contact, OmniSend, doesn't matter what CRM you have. All of these are going to be able to do all of this kind of work. So essentially what you're going to have, or when you're first starting your business, or when you already have your business, you have your data set, right? So let's draw out some data sets here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just kind of draw out a little, uh, and I am using a cheat here of a piece of paper to keep my angle straight. Cause as you can tell, I cannot draw well, but you're going to have your first name, right? First name. And then you're going to have your last name and, and so on and so forth. Right. I don't think that, um, I think that a lot of people don't realize, but th this is going to have tremendous amounts of data on it, which is great. I think that it is is key for any business to be successful. But the problem is, is a lot of people don't really realize how to drill down on this data, right? So you're going to have your first name, last name, you're going to have the amount of money spent, you're going to have where they live, right? Location, maybe they're, you're definitely going to have their email address. So at least I hope you have their email address. And then you're going to have more and more and more data, right? This is this is the key to making a good Facebook look like audience. This is really the backbone to a lot of online marketing is using the data, which nobody seems to be talking about. So first things first, you're going to want to look at the data. And this is something that a lot of people don't really do because they're so focused on like, I have all of these emails or I have all of these sales, which is great, but you want to retarget these people, right? You're going to be coming out with new products. You might want to sell more products to these people. So the goal is really to find the magic involved in here. So our, our job, right? As marketers, or if you're looking to grow your business is actually find out the magic across a handful of these categories. Now, these are going to be where you can start to then retarget your marketing efforts. And this is where the big money is. I mean, the big, big money, because if you could figure out how to get in front of these people over and over and over again, right? These are going to be your, your unicorns, your, your magical buyers. Maybe it's a certain threshold of money spend that they've had with you. Maybe it's a different aspect of your business that you might be interested in growing, or maybe they bought your starter product and they are perfect candidates for some of your higher tier products, right? So for example, I'll use a, a brand called Meeson. They make kitchen supplies. They make pots, pans, knives now. And they started out with a chef's knife and they started out with a really, really high end chef's knife for a great price, right? So a lot of people bought that chef's knife. And I think that a lot of people don't realize like, hey, that's their first product. But what accompanies that chef's knife? An additional knife, right? What else accompanies that? 
different different either cutting utensils so maybe that's steak knives that could be a paring knife that they offer maybe it's a, a bread cutting knife a slicing knife these are all different things that are going to add on to your original knife purchase right because most people don't have one kitchen knife they have multiple kitchen knives for a variety of different tasks that they're doing and that's the same principle with this they have this huge data set of millions of people right it could be maybe it's hundreds of thousands of people and they're looking for that 10 percent that have spent a certain amount of money with them who are probably willing to spend more money right i am a perfect candidate for this i've bought their their pots and pans i have bought some of their knives and i'm consistently buying more of their products because they happen to put out a really really good product at a reasonable and fair price so that's what they're doing with this and that's essentially what you need to do with with this whiteboard here is you're going to have millions or hundreds of thousands or maybe it's thousands or maybe you're in the beginning and maybe it's hundreds of customers right here this is going to be you know i'll just put a one with a zero 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 and we'll just leave it at a thousand right and we'll just put an x at the end because that could be any number of people right if you're a big company like microsoft or maybe it's best buy they're going to have millions of lines of customer data, right? What they've bought, I mean, every single transaction, what's moved out the door, who's bought it, when they bought it, potentially even serial numbers. But your goal is to figure out the criteria that you're actually looking for when it comes to your data. And really, once again, you're looking for this unicorn set. So maybe it's a customer that has spent a certain threshold of money, right? This is huge. Uh, T H R E S H O H O L D threshold of money and my handwriting is awful. Like I said, I apologize. Or maybe it's they got a starter product, right? And you want to send more stuff to them so they can buy more stuff, right? You, they bought your starter product and maybe you you bought a more advanced level of, of product to the market and they're great candidates for it. This is a great example for what I teach a lot on this channel with a lead magnet, right? They got your starter product. Maybe it's, you know, they got an ebook. Now you want to take them to the next level, right? So what is that next level? That could be a course purchase. Maybe that's getting involved with your company in a certain way. So maybe it's you're looking for the starter product or maybe you're looking for I don't know, maybe you're mid tier, right? Mid tier. And maybe there's a potential for an upsell at the mid tier level, or maybe they're your premium customers, right? That spent X amount of dollars, which is exponentially more than everybody else. So this premium person is looking for another premium product that you can then sell them, right? So these are all really good places to start. And when you start to think about your data, because everybody is going to be in here, right? So if I do Harrison, right, I'll just do Harry uh, B, and I spent maybe it's $1,000, right, for this number. My location is currently in North Carolina, and my email is hb at gmail.com, right? So there's going to be hundreds of other people. But it may be my, maybe your premium is $1,000 for a purchase, or maybe the minimum threshold for anybody that could buy more stuff is $1,000. But maybe your starter package is, a thou is the 1000 right? I bought the base product. We all know that an Arizona iced tea at your local gas station is going to be $0.99 cents, $1.08 after tax. And if you wanted to just target all of those people, let's just say you had their contact information on all of those purchases, then you can run an ad saying, hey, you know what? We have a $2 drink or a $3 tea that is better than, or maybe not better than, but is comparable to Arizona iced tea because Arizona iced tea is so cheap, right? Or maybe you just want to let that person know, hey, you got a new flavor of Arizona iced tea. And maybe that is the majority of your market, right? Or maybe it is that that threshold that they're hitting where they're hitting a premium product. So I actually want to go into an Excel sheet. Now I found this Excel sheet online. I did manipulate it a little bit to give you some more realistic information here, but I want to show you guys really the process that you need to go through in order to have a really, really successful kind of narrowing down campaign where then you could take these people, cherry pick them out and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna run an ad to these people or I'm gonna run email marketing to these people or I wanna make them a special offer that can make you more money. So let me swap over to my Excel sheet here and I'll see you guys back probably before you even know it. Alrighty, look at that, before you even knew it, I'm, I'm back, boom. Here it is. So I pulled up an Excel sheet here and I just want to go over some information with you guys. Now, this is a totally fake comp setup. This is these people do not exist. Uh, I just pulled the top list of a thousand baby names on the Internet. So don't think like, oh, I need to go target these people. I've made up all of the information on here. I've taken some previous information and started utilizing it. 
and this is this was from like 2013 when somebody made the sample sheet. I just updated the dates here. But really, what you're going to see is I've I've broken it down to about five different categories. Where you'll see personal computer, you'll see gaming system, uh, living room setup, 4K TV, and I just tried to pick like some of those bigger ticket items, right? And and don't get me wrong, like the the pricing and the product don't actually match. I don't know what the with the old information was on here but you'll see i mean there's a there's a different name with a different product with a fairly different price for the most part and then there's a date attached to all of these right month name and then the year uh that it that it took place in so all of these are from 2020 and 2019 the two most recent years that have completed right and you're going to be able to see we have a bunch of different people you have i mean it's pretty funny to look at this you have carter case uh case casey cash Caston. uh i mean these are all baby names but uh, it look I, I needed information please come me some slack here um but it's cool. It's, it's actually pretty interesting to see. And everybody has a different, you know, data set. So don't think, oh, my God. The first thing you're going to want to do, and, and keep in mind, when you're going to do this, you are going to have email addresses, which I think a lot of people forget. Now, this can be done in MailChimp, Constant Contact, OmniSend, HubSpot, <laughs> Keep, Infusionsoft, whatever it is that you choose to use. It, this is all available, right? I'm just giving you guys the the overview of how you would do this. So let's just say, hey, you know what? Let's just target people that have spent a lot of money. So you would do what's called creating a segment. And once again, th this is what can be done in all of these platforms. But let's go large or smallest, right? And, and now it looks like 350 is the most amount of money that people can spend, right? So we have this segment here, and I'm just going to color it in uh, a slightly different color here so we can see... Um, who has spent $350, which seems to be about 70 people or so. And let me go back down here, mark it up. Why is it, this is, this is it? Oh, it's more than more people. I apologize guys. It's 99. So a hundred people have spent that kind of money on it and we're just going to mark them and we're just going to paint these in. We'll just paint these in yellow, right? So now we can see that we have Almost 100 people that have spent at least $350, I missed two, um, that have spent $350, right? Now, this, they're in a variety of different areas, which is great. However, this doesn't really give us the information that we really want. So we're going to take out of the main data, right? I, wanna co I basically want to copy and paste these people into a new form because this is where I want to start to mess around with and really see the data uh, that we can drill down to. So I'm going to just highlight all this. And we're going to just grab everybody that's yellow in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring it into another sheet just so I don't mess up the data in case I decide to use this at a later date. And now we have all of our information, right? So I'm just making sure that this is easily legible. And now the cool part is, is we have everybody's name, right? Who is associated with these items, right? And, and the, the interesting part is now is looking at it and saying, okay, great. Well, now we have a product, right? We have a sale price. We have a date, we have a month, we have a year, but what if I wanted to just target 4k TVs, right? So let's just, let's just drill down here and then we'll go in, we'll do a sort here and the sort should be up here, A to Z expand the section and now we have 4k tvs which is awesome so now we know that this subset of people have bought 4k tvs and are high spenders and this is where i think a lot of companies really start to go wrong where they don't quite understand hey let's look at the data right we started out with a tremendous amount of, of, of a tremendous amount of information right we started out with specifically 701 people right 700 people on this data set and out of that 700 people we really only have 101 people that have spent $350. Now, the craziest part is out of that 700 people, we really only have 20 people that have bought a 4K TV and spent $350. Now, this would obviously be probably a bit more money, although they do have TVs at $450 or $350. But the crazy part is, is now I could go and take this data, right? You're going to have your at sign here and we're just going to take, uh, we're going to take an at sign and is it going to let me do an at sign? Yes, it will. And we're just going to grab all of these. And these in theory would have email addresses attached to them. Now, the cool part is, is I can take this information and I can then copy these emails. I could copy actually all of this information into Facebook and say, hey, I want a lookalike audience, right? And Facebook will go in and try to figure out the commonalities between all of these people on Facebook. And this is how you'd run a targeted ad. 
then you could take this data and you could do whatever you want with it. So these people are probably prime candidates for an 8K TV when it comes out because they've already spent a threshold of $350 for this example, right? But realistically, there's people that are out there spending you know, $1,000, $2,000 on a, on a $2,000 4K TV, right? These people are probably going to be the people that want an 8K TV when 8K becomes a little more popular. So Best Buy or Amazon Online or Walmart or, or Costco is probably going to send out an email to these people that just says, hey, the newest TV is here. Come check it out. And this is going to be the most powerful part because now you can segregate these people and say, hey, these people are really good candidates for – you know, for, for four or eight K TVs, right? So we'll just do eight K really quick over here. And that's the craziest part is now you can take these people and you can then bring them and, and say, Hey, you know what? I want to tackle all of these people. And now you have an email marketing plan for that. And the same process goes on and on, right? So now we have, we have Benjamin all the way down to Weston, right? Who bought a gaming system. And maybe we're just going to keep those at signs going here. Better yet, let me just, uh, let me bring this in and we'll just, we'll copy them down. Oh, it even brings the red. Beautiful. Right? So this is going to go all the way down. But what I'm really curious to know is these gaming systems. And maybe they want the newest uh, PS5 or maybe it's the Xbox. I don't even know. Xbox one i think it is i don't i don't know i haven't played console in years but this is the cool part right so maybe they're good target markets for letting them letting them know right the agency or the company selling this and saying hey these are the best systems out there so maybe it's ps5 or the new xbox I, it labeled the xboxes but maybe there's an xbox 10 out there and you could then take these this information and say hey we know that benjamin desmond at Ed, eduardo graham I don't know how to say that. Hunter, uh, Josiah, La Landon, M I don't know how to say that. Moyes, uh, all want to buy these systems. And then you could run, you take this data once again, and you would plug this directly into Facebook and let Facebook know, hey, I want to target these people with one specific gaming ad. And that's it, right? And and that ad is to get them to, to take out their wallets, right? This, this beautiful thing right here and go spend money with this company. And this is the process of driving down data, right? And I'm not just saying you need to focus on the high earners. There's a lot of data in here that we could go into and say, hey, you know what? I'm really interested. Maybe it's these people that spent $7, right? Or maybe it's people that never bought ever right this is a whole nother segment of people that we could then go into so let's go smallest to largest right and let's look at these people up here now these people over here have you know adonis alex ali i mean i, I think I, this is probably the order that i did it in but you know carter k caden cult right all of these people have spent never spent money right but they put in their information on one of these products and maybe at some point or another they were interested in buying these products so you might be able to say hey you know what we know that you were interested in a gaming set system or a 4k tv right same exact process you're going to drag all these people out and in this process in this there happens to only be 68 but we're going to just drop them in here right and we know that they haven't spent any money yet which is totally fine and what we can do now is we can take this data and say, okay, great. Well, let's see how many people in here, right? Let's sort this out and we can do find and select, uh, sort A to Z, expand the section. And now we know that Adonis, uh, Elise, Finley, Isaiah, um, Rylan, I like that name, that's cool, Stephen and Zane all are interested in 4k tvs but maybe because they didn't buy they didn't have the finances so maybe sending them an ad right that targets these people with a lower priced item so then once again we do the exact same process all over again so we're going to do an ad sign here and then we're just going to take that ad sign we're going to drag it all the way down and then maybe we could pitch these people maybe it's just a regular 1080p tv and we can pitch these people over and over and over again with uh, the 1086 PTV. Um, but we can pitch these people over and over and over again on Facebook ads or on email marketing. And this is where the data is. And anyone that's telling you otherwise is probably not doing this because big companies are spending millions and millions of dollars focusing on this data, right? This is a totally made up data set. I literally grabbed it online. But I mean, this is what people are doing, right? There's companies out there, Dell, 
Best Buy. I mean, Costco. You'd probably be surprised how many companies out there have this massive data set. Now, with that massive data set, then you could go in and start to utilize this completely. So, hey, let's let's target people that have only bought that one dollar Arizona ST or spent the premium five thousand, ten thousand dollars on our premium products, and maybe they want more premium products because they can afford it. They've already proven that they can afford it, right? Maybe it's a grill, maybe it's a Traeger, right? So hey, I know that these guys bought the lowest tier Traeger. Maybe I want to buy a more expensive Traeger, and this is where the magic begins to happen because when you could target your market based on what they've bought in the past and start to think about different products you can then offer them in the future, right? Maybe it's a starter product that you want to add on to just like my kitchen knives right I started out with a small set of kitchen knives and now I bought a, uh, a cutting board and, and the, the pots and pans and as they come out with more stuff they come out with a utensil set I'll probably get that utensil set right so maybe it's it's uh, spatulas and all that good stuff right and they they know that I am an ideal candidate now what happens when the person buys everything in all of your products. Well, that's going to be your best customer. I mean, anytime you're launching somebody something new, they should be the first ones to know about it because they're a loyal customer. They've spent so much money with you, and don't feel fr don't feel afraid to you know give a small discount to these people. These people are going to be your most loyal customers, right? They always appreciate it. Meeson always sends me a, a, a coupon. Now they're probably sending it out to thousands of other people as well, but they're sending it out to me because they know that I'm willing to spend the money on it. So this is the way your mind has to begin to think in order to succeed and grow with either ads or just email marketing and understanding the data that you have at hand. Now, I hope I did a decent job at explaining it. And if you guys have questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them if you want me to go more in depth. But believe it or not, finding sample data, creating fake data is way harder than just using real data. But I can't use real data because that would be, uh, I don't know if illegal is the right term, but it's definitely not ethical to use real data and show people's information on here. But this is what you'd have. You'd have the exact same information, right? When you go to Best Buy, you get a Best Buy credit card or you put in your Best Buy membership number, right? And it's your first name, last name, phone, phone number, address, right? And then they track every single thing you buy for the most part, right? Because you get a discount. You get a discount because they know where to, what to send you and they have proof because they're doing it over and over and over again. And then when you drill down through the data and you say, hey, out of the 100,000 people we have, there's 10,000 people that could probably afford our most expensive TV. Let's send them an email marketing, on, you know, an email blast on this. And let's hit them over and over and over again because at some point or another, maybe they'll come in and buy. And the way they validate that is that person comes in and buys, right? Or the way you'd validate this is those people are clicking on your Facebook ads and then visiting your website and buying the products you put in front of them. This is how it all works. This is how the big companies, the seven, eight, nine figure agencies, or I shouldn't say agencies, companies are leveraging their data to make extreme amounts of money. And don't think it has to be thousands of dollars, right? Walmart is doing this too with hundreds of dollars or dollars, right? Hey, you might not be a big spender at Walmart. That's okay. They're going to send you stuff that they think is in your ballpark, right? And this is the the game of kind of data science and data drill, you know, data drilling and going down and digging deeper and deeper into finding those little nuggets of saying, hey, out of the thousand people, we found seven people that are probably good for a lower end TV, right? Now they're going to take their money out of their wallet, right? And go spend it with you. And that is how these companies make such incredible amounts of money. And they can do it over and over and over again. It becomes repeatable. And on top of that, you can take this data, put it in Facebook. And say, hey, I want to target this subset on this, this subset on this, this subset on this. And that is going to be the data that is going to make your company go from one level to the next level by far, especially if you have really good data. So never get rid of data. Data is always going to help you, especially if they bought years ago. Maybe they're interested in buying again. Maybe you came out with a revolutionary product. These are all things that you can do to help grow your company in an exponential level. So I hope this video helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys guys later.